In this tutorial, I want to walk you through how to create type on a path. Now type on a path is different than this type warp option. So if I choose type warp, it truly warps my type. So if I choose from none, let's go bulge or I can go flag. So even though this curve goes down and up and over, it truly warps my type. And I want to find a better solution for that. So for me, I prefer using a path. Now we can use the pen tool in Photoshop much like the pen tool in Illustrator. So if I want to create a design, I'm going to click and click again. And I'll click one more time up here just to create a really funky design. Uh, we'll go that way. Just a really curve on that path. Now to actually put type on the path, what I'm going to do is select my T key. T for type. Don't forget P is the shortcut key for the pen tool. So I'm just going to go over and notice what happens to my cursor. That the little I for the type icon changes to a curved line. And if I click, I can type on a path. If I can type correctly. Now the great part about this is I can warp, move, do whatever I can using the two arrows that are the same as in Adobe Illustrator. So if I want to move this over, I can move this down, and now my type can move as, oops, I don't want to go upside down, but I can move my type anywhere I want to go using the direct selection tool, which is inside the arrow, which is Shift A. A is the black arrow, and Shift A is the white arrow. The white arrow allows you to select individual points on a path. So all of a sudden I could grab this one, move it down here, and now I have type on a path. Note that this type doesn't warp. So if I had, for example, back on this type, and I go into style and the flag or the wave. Ooh, geez, that's not too bad. But note the A for example. So if we zoom in, oh, let me put that back. Should have hit the return key, I hit the escape key instead. If I choose wave, and to lock it in my laptop, I hit command return. And if we zoom in, note how it kind of squishes the letters on the A and the A. If I zoom out, these letters are nice and not squished with type on a path. But I use type on a path if I want to create a curvature. So if I had a circle, for example, I could curve my type cleanly around the design. And the problem, the one area to watch for, of course, is kerning, or the space between the letters. So if that's the case and you're having that problem, what I will do, like with the P and the E, oops, let's go back to our type tool. With this, what I'll do is I'll put my cursor in between and I'll option left or right cursor depending upon how close or how far apart the type has to be. But that's, oops, a simple tutorial on how to create type on a path in Adobe Photoshop. Thank you.